All right. Well, good afternoon and thank you for joining us. This is Bob Spitz with Drive along with Tony Whistler. And our special guest today is Trey from Diesel Laptop, who will be at the expo and has a, a fantastic line of products to help our shops do better in their shops. And, you know, Trey, I'm going to have you introduce yourself. Why don't you go ahead and tell everybody who you are and what is Diesel Laptop? All right. All right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, thank you for having me. Um, as mentioned, my name is Trey Scott. Um, I'm a territory manager here at Diesel Laptops. Um, and here at Diesel Laptops, um, our mission is to provide the best products and service for our customers um, by offering a wide range of tools, um, technical support, um, training, um, and more, much more um, as far as the diesel repair industry goes. Um, you know, um, you know, as we understand in this ever-changing industry, um, there's always a need for a, a more accessible and affordable diagnostic tool or solution. Um, so um, our CEO, Mr. Tyler Robertson, um, being a diesel technician himself, um, is closely, can closely relate to the challenges, you know, we all face when trying to find, you know, or trying to diagnose or do any repairs. So he founded Diesel Laptops, um, and we will be there to show how we can provide um, how we can provide you all with a, you know, totally effective tool um, to get the job done, as well as um, a means of growing your business. Fantastic. Now, the name Diesel Dap Laptop, of course, Diesel is a big part of your name. And, yes, yes. But I discovered that you do more than just diesel. You also provide service and product for uh, gas, internal combustion engines, correct? Yeah, that's that's correct. Um, we have solutions for, I mean, pretty much every environment you can think of outside of, you know, aviation at the moment. We got a uh, marine, um, you know, bike and motorcycle. Yes, we have gas, um, heavy duty equipment. Um, so, yeah, I mean, we got a solution for, you know, you know, for pretty much whatever you guys are looking for, you know. Good. Excellent. You know, looking at <clears throat> and by the way, they've got a great website. It's uh, very user friendly, even for someone like me. And there's a tremendous amount of products on here. And I just was wanting you to guess, give us a, you know, a 30,000 foot view on, on just some of these products that you uh, provide and services. Because it says here, diesel training. So what kind of training is that? Okay, well, as far as the uh, products we provide and the training, uh, we have, so the, the training it can be either in class um, or online. Um, and we train as far as how to use our diagnostic tools um, after treatment and emissions. Uh, we have, you know, OEM specific training, um, electric training. I mean, we got it. You know, if you want to, if you want to, you know, grow what it is, you know, and, and what you can do, we, you know, we're a great environment to do that in. So, and I think you also get involved with uh, OE training on Cummings, don't you? which is one of the biggest yeah, mm -hmm. diesel yeah, manufacturers, right. needless to say. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So let's say I have an auto repair shop and I don't do diesel right now, but, you know, I'm seeing an awful lot of F-250s in my neighborhood and Dodge Rams and, you know, all those diesels running around and I want to expand mm -hmm. my business. But of course, it's a little scary going into an area that I don't know and whether or not can I get the equipment and the training necessary so that my guys can tackle that diesel that comes in with an odd running problem. Right. Well, you know, if you were that guy, what you would do is you'd call us, you know, um, you know, not only do we offer you the diagnostic tool itself, right. But what sets these last top support, uh, excuse me, apart is, is our unmatched support, right? So when you purchase the tool, first and foremost, um, you're going to have about, you know, some overview videos on the laptop itself to kind of get you going and get you, get you comfortable. Um, every week, you know, we have the live webinars presented by our instructors, which are free, you know, to the owner of the tool to learn more that, you know, learn what they can to maximize their opportunities. Um, you know, like I said, we have the um, technical support, which is U.S. based, um, which is a big deal. Um, but, you know, if Monday through Saturday, if you guys got a question outside of training, if you need an answer with Oh, I have a software related issue or a connection related issue, or if I just need some advanced diagnostic assistance, um, all you got to do is pick up the phone, give us a call and 
one of our guys to get on the line and, and, and get you through step by step. You know, they got their feature, you know, we can remote into that laptop, kind of see where you're at, you know, where you need to go and push across the finish line. Fantastic. Now, we've been talking about diesels, which of mm -hmm. course, internal combustion, but I also see on your website, you have uh, products for Allison. That's correct. Which is of course, transmissions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, when you, whenever you're, you're walking up on a, on a vehicle, right, you have many different components um, that you have to target and focus on. And so we do offer the software for transmission, uh, ABS, um, you know, things like that. So, I mean, you know, if that's the coverage that you're needing, um, you know, we do offer that. So what you would see on the website, it would be separated between, you know, the all makes and model solutions where, you know, you get one license that gets you covered for every component of that truck or equipment, um, all, you know, all makes and models, or you get, you know, you get a laptop and you get all the different OEM software, you get your Cummins license, you get your Allison, your Eaton, and you can do that as well. So when I get a, a, a license, let's say just for Cummins, mm -hmm. that's going to be more comprehensive than the all makes and models. What would be the difference there between getting all makes and models and getting say Cummins or Allison or? Well, the biggest difference is that um, let's say, let's say you're a guy who has a laptop and, you know, you get a, you get, you know, you get your laptop and you have the one route you can go. You can get your laptop, load up your Cummins, load up your Detroit, load up your, your pack car, everything, right? Uh, what you'll find, you know, a lot of the times is throughout the years in order to keep that software, keep that license and you have to pay that, which becomes kind of a reason, you know, it's the opposite of why you looked into the type of solution anyway. Um, then you have a solution, which is the all makes license. And yes, it will give you coverage for, you know, whether it's Cummins, Detroit, Pack Car, uh, whether it's ABS system, transmission, cab, trailer, you know, it's going to give you, you know, coverage for pretty much every component on that piece of equipment or truck. Now, the difference in the software, of course, it is aftermarket. So, you know, admittedly, so there will be things like flashing in an ECM or, or doing stuff like that, that you wouldn't be able to do that the dealers would do. But but typically 95% of what these what the dealers are doing and, and what you would be calling guys or outsourcing guys to come do for you, you'll be able to do on your own. Right. Now, besides the software, you also provide hardware if I need it, don't you? Of course. Yes, sir. We do. Um, you know, we, you know, we'll send it out with the laptop and, you know, the, the general or the most standard adapters and cables. But outside of that, if you need a Nexic adapter, if you need the, the six pin for 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 this or a nine pin for a John Deere over here, or you need this three pin Cummins cable. You know, we have all the adapters and cables you would need for any of the products that we sell. Um, I, um, I noticed one, sorry. Um, I no, noticed no, go, one go thing. Go ahead, Tony. Um, that when I looked into the automobile side, that you guys even have stuff for what you guys are calling supercars, like some of the real boutique, high-end expensive vehicles. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about that. So that one's more so within our Texa kit. Um, Texa does give you an option to work on, you know, of course, the domestic, you know, the, the everyday normal, you know, like my my Chevy Malibu is going to be in the Texa car software, you know what I mean? Um, but then if you got your Lamborghinis and, you know, um, Maseratis and stuff like that, you're going to want to go with the supercar software. It's going to get you more of those exotic cars. Um, it's going to do the same thing that, you know, the other softwares are doing. It's just, you know, now you need a, a little bit more coverage for, a little bit higher scale of a, of, of a vehicle. Cool. Thanks. But yeah, we offer that as well, yeah, as you see. Well, it looks like diesel laptop is a solution for, you know, one of the problems that all shops are running into is getting the diagnostic information is, you know, you and I talked about off, off the live broadcast here, Trey, mm -hmm. The Right to Repair Act was a wonderful thing, but of course, OE said, okay, fine, yeah. we'll make it available. You're going to pay. You're going to give me some money for it, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to jump through hoops to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it looks like diesel laptop, except for the flashing or reprogramming. I mean, it, and definitely, you know, if I'm running a tuning shop and I'm trying to yeah. boost the horsepower by 500 horsepower, <laughs> yeah, nah, Texas gonna can't do no. that. Yeah. But otherwise, this is a solution to that problem of having all those licenses, isn't it? I mean, it definitely is. I mean, I, that's how I see it, you know, um, in, in, in many other ways as well. But, but it's, it comes to a point to where, you know, that licensing, you know, when you're looking at six and seven thousand and eight thousand yeah. dollars a year, and, and if I don't pay this one, 
you know, then I can't even use it. Or if I, you know, if I kind of, okay, I haven't seen that many Cummins this year. So let me not renew that Cummins license. Now here comes a Cummins pulling on in. And, uh, well, now I got to reach out. And so now all your licenses are, are skewed. Now, now you, you renewed your, your four licenses in April, then you renewed your Cummins in June. And then you, it's just a hassle. Um, but also, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a way that some guys just have to go, you know, if they need the capabilities to do what they have to do. But if you don't have to go that route, there's an easier way to go. You know what I mean? There's an easier way to, to get that done um, within, within one renewal, um, you know, one, one subscription that you pay that year at the top of the year. Um, we even have options to pay it monthly if it makes you comfortable. Um, you know, so we're totally, we're totally, all of our products are innovative and user-friendly, even the services that we offer. And of course, you have one source for customer service as well. Say that again? You have that one source for customer service as well. You just, you're the touch point for everything. Right, right, right. There you go. Yeah. I didn't understand you there, but yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're nail on the head. You're right. You're right. Right. You know, one number. Mm -hmm. So you got the, you know, let's say you have what I, what I would say to, especially um, to guys trying to, trying to get into it or want to know if it's, if it's beneficial to them. Um, you know, many times I'll get a phone call about, you know, you have a guy who wants to maintain his own fleet of trucks and equipment or whatever he has. And every time he picks up the phone to get some service or gets a call from, you know, try to figure out how to get something done, it's either going to take him forever in a day um, or it's going to cost him an arm and a leg, which both, if you ask me, are the same thing. Um, you know, so with you having that own diagnostic solution, let's say that same guy calls me up and they say, hey, what do you guys have for me? And I send him out something. Now, not only can he you know, carry out his preventive maintenance and do what he has to do on his own things. What well, do you think everybody in around him in the surrounding areas, they had those, that same issue before, you know, said customer reached out to us. Um, so now he's that guy that they can reach out to. So now he's turned his, his business from maintaining his own fleet there to kind of taking some of his mechanics and his texts and, hey, hey, run down the road a little bit to, to uh, Johnny's truck shop and he, he needs a, a scan done. Charge him 250 or so, I, you know? Now that these things open up new doors, new, you know, new profits. Yep. Sure. Yeah. You know, you can definitely add on a profit center here by, by uh, getting the right equipment and, and then having the confidence to promote that you are uh, providing those services. Cause one of the things I'm looking at it, if I have mobile repair, some of these kits look ideal for the, for mobile repair, aren't they? Yes. Yes. Most going definitely. out to the fleets and doing diagnostics mm -hmm. in the yard. Yeah, a lot of guys I call up, they be, hey, man, there's some guy just left the shop here, and he, he had a kit that said diesel laptops. We want to know more about that. Mm -hmm. And that's how, you know, a lot of times these mobile, the mobile repair guys, you know, spreads, spreads a lot of word for us. Yeah, yeah well, the way, the way that I was looking at some of the, the equipment on, on the website, it does look like it's very sturdy, very compact, very mobile mm -hmm. in its approach. Like, yeah, most it's definitely. not... It's not in a rack, you know. <laughs> if you go down a rabbit hole, you'll start seeing videos of us throwing that laptop out the window, dragging it behind a, a truck, or don't, lighting it on fire. You know, we're you know, <laughs> <laughs> some tough stuff. Tough yep. stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I could spend a, a fair amount of time here on on your uh, your website because I see handheld here. So mm -hmm. there's the handheld devices. Mm -hmm for the technician at the vehicle. Well, you know, even these laptops, it's at the vehicle, complete laptop mm -hmm. kits on highway, off highway, on and off highway. Yeah, Bob, so, that's a great point you make. Go ahead. Well, yeah, um, you know, that, 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 being, that being said, um, a, lot of, a lot of people will see one of the dealer level tools and, and kind of get scared at, the, at, at what they see, right? But here at Diesel Laptops, we have different levels and different steps for wherever you are in your business or in your life, right? So like you mentioned, the handhelds and the decoders and the entry level tools uh, up to the next step to the intermediate, we got tablets that does a little bit more, but not as much as the full dealer level. Then you also at the top of the line there have that dealer level. So there's many different uh, levels to get into. Well, that's right. good. And that's, and that's price pointed too, right? So that's good yes. for the client. Mm -hmm. They can get what they can afford. And yeah, most definitely. We got the free software all the way up, all the way up to the professional level at tens of thousands of dollars. Yeah, I <laughs> see that. So you know, out west here, uh, it's not uncommon. You get into the country, you're dealing with a lot of off-road, off-highway vehicles, a lot of equipment. Mm 
Mm-hmm. You know, someone with a combine is not going to bring the combine to your shop. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's going to be kind of tough. <laughs> it's kind of tough. Main, uh, main Street's not wide enough. 450. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because I see, you know, I'm looking at, once again, you work with a company called Texa, mm-hmm. Construction and Off-Highway Diagnostic Scanner. So even though, I mean, you're a, you're a certified uh, vendor or supplier of their equipment, correct? That's correct. We're actually one of the top or the top distributor uh, in the U.S. for those guys. There you go. So you provide not only the training on how to use that equipment, but you support that equipment too. If if something goes wrong with any piece of that equipment, mm-hmm. I don't have to go to them. I go to you. That's correct. And that's what we'd encourage you to do. Um, you know, reach out to us, pick up the phone, get one of our mini techs available. You don't have to waste too much time on the line looking or waiting around. Um, and also um, if, if these guys that you reach out to, you know, allow them to reach out to Texas or, or Detroit or Cummins, wherever we have to do to get the job done. And that way, we probably already have gotten it done in the past. We can go to a file that we have real quick, pull it up and send it over to you or, you know, let us do the legwork and you wait a little bit and we get it back to you. But yes, we are the point of contact. You know, we, we, would, we would rather you reach out to us and, you know, let us deal with all the, the, the support issues that you have. Um, you know, let us look up some information for you. Um, use our repair platform to find that. Use our parts platform. Uh, we're we're one stop shop in the, in the repair industry. Do you yeah, let's facilitate talk. the training? Or do you guys have the training in house? The people that actually do the training are your employees. That's a great question. Yeah, they're they're um, they're actually our employees. Um, we have yeah we have a location um, Chicago um, here in Columbia. We opened a, a brand new training facility. It's beautiful, um, and as well as in Dallas, Texas. Um, and of course, you know we're growing as the years go by. Um, and even um, at the show, there'll be um, one of our one of our top techs and top trainers. He'll be there as well, kind of you know to be able to provide his insight and, and experience on the tool. Cool. Bob, you were going to say? I was going to ask you, because you mentioned parts. What do you do regarding parts? If I have your equipment, what am, what am I seeing regarding replacement parts? So you'll have um, a platform that we've labeled diesel parts. Um, I think it will be soon integrated in diesel repair, but diesel, diesel parts is like I yeah, told I'm you earlier. At that. Yeah, and so you can, you know, look up parts by exploded view, um, you know, cross-reference, um, you know, there's diagrams in there for you, pictures, and it's, it's a nice platform. To, and then also when you find the part you need, you know, you can also pull up the marketplace to find, you know, maybe your favorite sale in the area and kind of purchase it from them right there. It just saves a, it's a lot less clicks and no phone call. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, over the last couple of years, with the supply chain problems, parts, especially in the heavy duty area, mm-hmm. uh, have become a, a bit of a challenge. And uh, a lot of time is being spent in a shop trying to find some of these parts. Right, right. I think so. Any- by having this as part of my software, I'm working on something. I see I need a sensor or I need a wiring harness or I need whatever I need, I can source it. I can look for it right there. Yes, sir. Whatever you need. There's over, there's over 2 million parts in that, in that platform. So you'll find it. <laughs> Great. <laughs> you'll find it. A lot of parts, 2 million. <laughs> yeah. That's great. So uh, you, you're helping me as a shop. If I'm just doing diesel pickups all the way up to, if I'm doing class eight, school buses and and tractor trailers the, the the whole range of diesel the whole range of diesel the whole range of and, and not only you if, if you own a shop but you know the guy who just passed by who has his own truck um you know the fleet up the road that has a lot of different pieces of equipment you know so so yes all of environments cool right yeah because there's an awful lot of different equipment out there you know you go to any of these Oh, I don't care if it's logging or, you know, earth digging or whatever. There's a ton of equipment out there. And uh, being able to figure out why this one piece stopped is, is, uh, is, is the game. Mm-hmm. And how do you get that back on the road fast? Right. And anything can hang you up from 
from the time you get the light and the code to the time that repair is done, you know, you know, you, ne you never imagine what can hang you up, what could take so much longer if you just, if you just had a, a diagnostic tool can save all that. Yeah. And once again, if I am working on something, I am diagnosing it and I am stumped, I can call Diesel Laptop and they can help me with that, correct? That is correct. Yes, sir. Most well, definitely. Yeah. That's wonderful. Now you're going to be at our expo this year, correct? You were there last year too. Yeah, I was there last year. Um, it was a great show. I'm going to be there this year. I'm very excited to be there. Um, actually can't wait. Um, but but yeah, that was something, the experience I had last year is definitely is, is a reason why I'm a lot excited this year. You know, so um, just can't wait to get down there, shake some hands, you know, let us let everybody know what we do and how we can help them grow. Cool. Tell us something about the last expo that you enjoyed. Well, the last expo, I'll say I like that. Um, I got a chance to meet a lot of different people in the industry. Um, it was one of my first shows. Um, and, you know, it was actually following a show I just came off of. But it, with it being just a new experience, I was able to just put put faces to names and um, get a view at the competitors and kind of, you know, have the uh, in-house kind of experience of, of what the of what the industry really is and and who who and who can provide what and what can they do and when can they do it and how can they help us how can we help them and i think i'm an i'm an experienced guy so just being there and and kind of just finally finally getting a chance to ex experience what the industry and what we're doing here and, and how it matters cool yeah Very now you do know if you come this year you can't bail out a theme night yeah, you gotta no. be there. You're gonna, gonna have to be there Saturday be night there. theme night. Listen, I was actually very disappointed that I missed the, the theme night. You know, we just had a prior engagement we had to we were committed to, but this this year nothing stopping me. I haven't pre-planned anything. <laughs> Good, because be it's it's early days of Vegas, Rat Pack, and you know, yeah, no, gangsters think, and malls. And, yeah, yeah, I think I might. <clears throat> I mean, think I might do uh, Elvis myself. There you go. Okay, <laughs> that'll be great. <laughs> Well, tell yeah, me how many Elvises you think they're going to be. I'm I'm going to start a pool. I'm going to say, I'm going to say that over the over under is going to be thirty. All right, Dean Martin, and I'll go as Dean. There you go, I'll as Dean. Dean. I'll go as Dean. Just some come as Jerry Lewis. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I would. That would be one. That would be so good. Um, yeah, but yeah, um, one of the things too uh, that that you want to know is that our clients love to love to dress up and and so you're going to see a lot of people dressed up and uh you should dress up too we all dress up it's a lot of fun well, um, and there's always great entertainment as well we usually have a live band or 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 a really smoking uh, D, uh dj <laughs> so uh but most of the time it's usually a live band and if it's going to be old school vegas i'm really hoping that they can like they can get you know Somebody get out your fedora, Tony. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> get it. Looking forward to it. Get a Rat Pack uh, tribute band or something to come and, use <laughs> and a bow tie. That's you it. You throw me up there. <laughs> Mel, I'll play get a set Mel. For you. I'm, I'm a th oh, do you play? I do. I do. So, uh, so do I. But we can talk about that the next time. We <laughs> uh, yeah, um, we can get Mel Mel Torme to come do this get it i don't know what he would charge these days is he even still alive uh, yeah i was gonna say well, i already said i'm excited you guys are gonna go throw it through the roof now <laughs> well you know yeah. we did a survey years ago of uh, independent shop owners and the number one thing that was missing out of their lives was fun because <laughs> it's tough running an auto shop is not easy mm -hmm. it's tough uh, so uh, when they have a chance to have some fun they do and yep. uh that's what this so. night is all about all right all right well i'm yeah. excited I can't, I can't wait to join um yeah. you'll see me now are you going to be able to do any kind of demonstrations at the booth of your equipment uh yes sir that's exactly why um i'm bringing mr travis roberts along my um the guy i was telling about the uh one of our our trainers um he'll be there to set up to be able to show um and, and display you know whatever is you, know, you guys want to see um sometimes sometimes it's kind of hard to, to 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 believe what it is that we're offering you know um so we definitely want to bring some down and kind of give you a, a visual 
Um, so we'll do demos. Uh, he'll set aside it, um, some time to kind of take you through whatever it is you want to be you you want to see. So, right. I don't suppose you could have a a, a class A truck with you that's having running problems and <laughs> yeah, I'll park it out back. No, 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 we can find a place booth. for it on the floor. We can find a place for it on the floor. Get it right on the trade floor. Yeah. Right next to you, me. Yeah, you know, Tony, this is our last live uh, Facebook before the expo. Yeah, that's, that's exciting. Nice. That's um, that, nice. We are close, man. I know. I mean, the, the <laughs> clock is ticking. The countdown is on. Yeah. yeah. So uh, now are there going to be any specials? You're going to be yes. able to offer any specials for them? Yeah, we're, we're going to. No, don't special. tell me what the specials are. They need to come and see you to find see out. See the special. specials. Yeah. I just want to know: Are there going to be specials? Well, I wasn't going to tell you, but yes, we we are offering <laughs> specials as well as um we're doing a raffle. Um, we're going to give away some things. Um, I think it's a, I can tell you about the raffle. It's going to be a nice big giant uh cooler that you can drive around and uh, play music through and, and some swag items. But but yeah, we'll have specials, show sales, um, and a raffle. Great prize for everybody who wants to stop by the booth and. You know, shake our hands and kind of see what we got for you. Yeah, that's awesome. And I just got a burning notice that I misspoke. Next Friday is the last show before the expo. Not today. Ah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. I was jumping the gun. And swag. I hope you have swag because you know, man, you go to a show, got to bring home the swag. <laughs> right, right, that's right, right. Well, we have exclusive swag, like you know, like a shirt or some things like that. But then we definitely have all the other, you know bins and bits of like pins and stuff like yeah we have yeah. that for you very cool. and right. stuff like that <laughs> <laughs> okay well we're running up to uh, our hard break here tony uh is there any last thing you'd like to tell us trey uh well as i said earlier man we uh, appreciate appreciate you having me um definitely going to go enjoy myself and looking forward to coming down there and i'm um, having a good time with everyone and um kind of see what we can do to continue to grow this industry great fantastic yeah tony any last words before we sign off i think we got mike button next friday do we not uh, i want to make sure i think that's correct one of our well that's one, one of, of my great, old friends one of our great clients he'll be with us next friday i believe do you great. want to tune in on that one yes because mike is check him out mike's become quite a successful mso Yep. You know, from one shop to four, it's doing great. And yes, and Carolyn says, yes, that's correct. We will have Mike Button, Advanced Automotive with us, Affordable Automotive, with us Here. from uh, Chico, California. Yep. So that'll always be great to talk to Mike. And wow. uh, I want to encourage you all to come to the expo. If you've never been to a drive expo, my gosh, you don't know what you're missing. So please come. When you're there, go visit Trey, see how Diesel Laptop can help you in your shop and get the training that you need to tackle these more difficult problems that you run into in the shop that can be such efficiency killers. So uh, Join his raffle and get his killer swag. That's he right. Did. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. Well, I want to thank everybody for uh, tuning in. It was great to see you, Trey. and. Uh, see you again. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you uh, at the expo. See you yep. in a couple of weeks. You see you guys. Okay. 